Hey guys, Lane here from Maker's Lane. Today I'm going to be making this Wisdom Tree Book Lamp. I'm making this project, it's actually going to be an anniversary gift for my wife. Our anniversary is in the next couple days and I needed to make something for her that she would absolutely love, that was unique, and that you know you really can't buy anywhere else. So I came up with this idea and I called it a wisdom tree. Basically it's to be a bookmark for your different books that you read. If you know somebody who's a big reader, this could be a perfect gift idea for them. But this is gonna be for my wife for her anniversary. Let's go ahead and get started with the project. We'll go out to my shop and look at what material we're gonna need. Okay, so here's everything I think I'm gonna need for this project. So this is a piece of fence board that I had left over from another project, and this is some pieces of shiplap that I had also left over from another project. And then I'm going to paint it white. I'm mainly going to secure it with super glue, and then I have some LEDs that I'm gonna put in it. So not a whole lot to this project. You should be able to get everything for like under $15. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna first go ahead and rip this board and then cut these down to five inch sections. This should be a really quick project. I just need to get something to her that looks really nice and she'll really like, but at the same time, being last minute, I gotta get this done. Let's go ahead and get started. angle at the top of this. One sec. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is, this is going to be my upright piece, obviously. I need to route out so that these guys can fit inside of here. The thing to note about this, I made these five inches, but then I made four five inch long ones. So you can see there's four ones that are a little bit taller and then four that are four and three quarters because I basically made it so that I can glue these together like this. And so that overlap on top is not gonna extend past on the bottom piece. So that is why I made one set a little bit shorter than the other, or a quarter inch shorter than the other. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna route, I'm gonna start by routing this top piece, so I'm just gonna basically follow the edge line here and route out a quarter inch so that these can sit inside of it, and I will go about three eighths deep in this. So I'll do it at the top, and then I will space it out four inches. So I will go four inches down, then do that V again, four inches down, do that V again, and then four inches down, do that V again. And then that way I have all four shelves. And then at the bottom, I have these pieces. These will go on the front and the back, and they will house, this actually has a little power supply in it, and I don't want that to be seen at all, so I'm gonna hide that inside of it. It'll have a little tiny, like, looking, little looking house thing at the bottom. The first thing we need to do is find the center on this so that I can make the Vs off of that.
here's what it looks like. I got the four slots cut into it, and then I went ahead and cut off the bottom to fit this. I kind of just measured it like that, just kind of put it on there and said, okay, that's flush. The next part is we're going to go ahead and glue it up. Now, if I were more patient, the best way to go would probably be wood glue and to wait it, wait for it to set up, but I am not patient, so I like to use CAE glue, super glue, whatever you want to call it. My brand of choice is this Starbond. They actually sent me this stuff for free, so that was pretty awesome on them. I have a promo code. When you go to checkout, if you put the promo code Makers Lane in, you will get 10% off. One great thing about it is it goes on and when you spray the accelerant, it doesn't give you that milky white that you get with some of the other stuff when you spray accelerant. I really like it because basically you can use it on any type of wood and it doesn't leave any residue or just doesn't look like it leaves any residue. Let's go ahead, like I said earlier, I have two different sets of these. I have a smaller set and a larger set. What I'll do is I'll take the smaller set and a larger set. The larger set will sit on top of it and the smaller set will sit underneath, kind of like that. They'll both be five inches from the top to the bottom here. I'll go ahead and glue up all four of those and then we'll glue them into this slot. I made a little bit of a mistake gluing those on already. I need to take this drill bit, it's a half inch drill bit, and actually take it up inside through here, basically all the way up to the top here to put the wires for the LEDs in. Now I have to do it post, which there's a good chance that I could end up screwing something up. Kind of nerve wracking here. I may have to start over and, and redo all of this, but if you're doing it, go ahead and drill this hole ahead of time so that you don't have to worry about drilling it later. Ah, and I screwed it up. So restart, take that back. I thought I screwed up, but instead I got a better idea. I should have lined it up ahead of time, but I used the router and just routed a channel in here. What's nice is I'm gonna be painting this. I'll take some of the sawdust and I'll mix it with the super glue here. And after the wires are already in, I check everything. I'll go ahead and super glue it in and then sand it down and you won't be able to tell a difference at all. I also wanna go back and on these edges, I don't like how sharp they are. I'm gonna take my sander and kind of round it off a little bit. Kind of like that, I started it a little bit. I'm gonna kind of do that, but maybe a little bit more aggressive. That way it just gives it a more finished look to it. Thankfully, all this will be painted, so you won't be able to see any of these imperfections, hopefully. For the next step, since I got this channel routed in here, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole in all of here and then go ahead and put the LEDs up on the top here.
all finished and complete. It took me roughly three hours to make. If you include paint and everything else, maybe five hours, so maybe about a half a day to make this project. Originally, I went with some different LEDs. I didn't like how they looked. They were spaced out too far, and so these are more narrowly placed, just give it a little bit better light. If I went back, I might go with ones with a little bit higher lumens. They're not dim, but they're not as bright as I was hoping it would be. Another change that you could make, depending on whether or not you know what size books, is to actually make them a little bit bigger so that they can get bigger books on them. These are actually pretty small books. These are what I had ahead of time. They're like six inch tall books, but most books are like seven, eight, nine inches long. You might have to make a, that dimension a little bit longer for those. It still will hold them and support them, but it just doesn't quite look as right. It looks a little bit awkward if you have like one sticking out, like these are all the same. But it's a really easy project. Hopefully my wife loves it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Until next time, I'm Lane from Makers Lane. You guys have a good one.